Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take you through the startup procedure for the 727. Okay, everything starts with the IRS. The IRS has to go to NAP because it takes about 15 minutes to be aligned. It depends on temperature and different stuff outside. The next thing to check is the jaw dumper. Jaw dumper on. We check that all the screens are in normal position. So just to remind, a flow is check the panels from top to bottom, left to right, all of them. And the next thing to check is uh, the after left fuel pump is on, please. After that, we skip the, the flow and we go to the APU, the auxiliary power unit, go to start for uh, three seconds, please. One, two, three. Okay, with that, we check that the low oil pressure light is on and we wait until we have EGT. So the EGT is moving, there you go. Now we can continue with the flow and the galley power on, please. Galley on, galley power is on. We are connected to the ground power and we continue over here. Equipment cooling is on normal. The emergency lights arm in the middle, please. Perfect. No smoking sign and seatbelt signs on. Thank you so much. Now we continue over here. Window heat on, left and right. Perfect. Proof, uh, you check that is off and we have the yellow lights. Electric hydraulic pumps on, please. Okay, now we have the APU available. Please turn on the APU. Now we are connected to the APU and we can continue with the flow. Now all the doors of the aircraft are closed. Uh, we check that the um, cockpit voice recorder is working. The pressurization panel is zero and, the, and is showing the actual altitude of Edmonton. This instrument is not climbing or descending. And we continue over here. Recirculation fans auto, please. Left pack and right pack. This is the air conditioner of the aircraft. Uh, auto, please. Isolation valve, we check that is open. And now we have the APU running for more than a minute, so we can take air from the APU. Please turn on the APU bleed. The flight will be at 31,000 feet. Please set the pressurization panel to 31,000 feet. Landing altitude, um, 3,000 feet for Edmonton. In case of emergency, we can land in the same airport again. Okay, the next panel is this. We check that the landing lights, runway turner left and taxi lights, all of them are off. Logo lights, position lights is the only one goes to steady. The position light is, are, are the red and green lights in the wings. Anti-collision light is off, wing is off, and wheel wheel is on because I was outside doing the pre-flight, so now we can turn off the wheel well. Over here, flight director on. And over here, but you check that your side is main. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we go over here, fuel flow reset. And lights, uh, please go to test and turn off the lights in the aircraft, please. No, now the, um, the cockpit is looking like a Christmas tree. Everything is working in all the panels, all the lights are working and it's good. So we can continue, please turn on the lights again. The panel lights, thank you so much. Okay, next thing is the auto brake. Auto brake, RTO. We check that the flaps are up, landing gear is down and three green. The FMC programming will be later. Speed brake down, flaps up, throttle idle position, engine fuel, levers cut off, parking brake is released, we have the chocks in the wheels, and now we are going to test the, the fire panel. Please go to the left. We check two lights, fold and APU. Now to the right. We're going to hear the sound. What is the fire in the engines or the APU? And now over here, we can turn off the warning system. It's okay. Um, now the cargo fire test, please. Push that button, the same, what is the fire? And over here, fire warning, off. Fire panel is tested, the radio, are, uh, the radio is set. Now, please put the transponder on standby. 
Okay, thank you so much. Now, after this, we can do the um, pre-flight checklist. All right. And the pre-flight checklist, yaw damper. Yaw damper is on, check. Passenger signs. Passenger signs on, check. Window heat. Window heat on, check. Packs. Packs are auto, check. Isolation valve. Isolation valve is open. Flight altitude. Flight altitude set, uh, flight level 310. Land altitude. 3000 feet for Edmonton. Exterior lights. Exterior lights, we have um, position steady. EFIS. EFIS is set. Flight directors. Flight directors on. Indicated airspeed. Indicated airspeed will be later. We don't have FMC program yet. LNAV, VNAV. Uh, this is activated after takeoff. Heading. Headings. We have 00, zero and curves are 0. Altitude. Altitude 10,300. Auto brake. Auto brake on RTO. Fuel flow. Fuel flow reset and 0. Fire panel. Fire panel over here is tested. And radio panel. Radio panel set. With this, we finished the pre flight. Now we go to the before start procedure. Over here, the um, procedure is very easy. Just turn off all the yellow lights, except these two over here and these two over here. Because the engines are off, obviously we have these lights. So please turn on all the fuel pumps. Now the fuel pumps lights are off. We continue the flow in case we miss something. Um, proof on. Anti I we check that is off. Electric hydraulic pumps on. Left pack and right pack off. Isolation valve open. APU bleed is open. And now the lights over here, anti collision light on. So this is to show people in ground that we are going to start the engines. After this, please, can you do the before start checklist? All right. Before start checklist, parking brake. Parking brake is released. We don't need to set the parking brake for now. Ground power lights. Ground power light is on. Fuel quantity. Fuel quantity, we have 20,600 kilograms. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps, all of them are on. And Fasten on seat belts. Seat belts, we don't need it and passengers are on. Hydraulic pumps. Hydraulic pumps, electric and engine on. Packs. Off. Isolation valve. Open. APU bleed. APU bleed is on. Anti-collision lights. Anti-collision light on. Transponder. Transponder on standby and the code is 3141. And flight deck door. Flight deck door is closed. Okay. All right. After this, we can start the engines. We are going to start the engines number, the engine number two and then the engine number one because we have ground people in that side. So to start the engines, we go to ground. And we have to check some stuff in the engines that the oil pressure, oil pressure is going up. The next thing is N2 is rising. Over here, we have to check that we have 20%, 25 or 20% 20 minimum. When we get 25, you can put fuel in the engine. Checking 24, now please put fuel in the engine. Okay. Now the next thing to check is the EGT because we have flame in the engine. No oil pressure light is gone. The fan is moving. Now N2 uh, at 56%. This switch over here has to go off. 53, 55, 56. That means that the engine is good. Next thing to check is 20% over here. And star valve. The engine is stabilized, we can start the engine number one. Please start the engine number one. No. Perfect. Start valve is open. Oil pressure is going up into rising. Passing 20, per, I prefer 25%. But fuel in the engine. Okay, after that, lower pressure light off, EGT rising, 
the fan is moving when we get over here 56 percent this button has to go off again okay checking 47 50 55 and 56 there you go the engine so now 20 percent on n1 and start button is closed now the engine is stabilized please connect the generators okay generators are connected apu off we don't need any more the apu now packs um auto please left and right isolation valve auto engine bleeds on apu bleeds off APU bleed off, sorry. Over here, runway turn off lights and taxi lights on because we are going to taxi. Okay. The next thing is the checklist, please. After start checklist. After start checklist, Gen 1 and Gen 2 are connected on. Pro heat. Pro heat is on. Anti ice. Anti ice not required off. Pax. Pax auto. Isolation valve. Auto. APU bleed. APU bleed off. APU. Off. Flaps. Flaps are up. We and don't need flaps for now. And recall. Recall. Please push this big button in your side and release. Okay, we don't have a light. That means that we are good to go. And All that's right. how we start the, the Boeing 737. Okay, that's it in the checklist. That's finished. Okay, the checklist is complete and I hope you like it.